If you've ever driven down Gravelway Road in St. Louis, Missouri, you might have seen a giant windmill soaring above the other buildings. But why is it here? Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today in our segment, Secrets of St. Louis, we are talking about the Bevo Mill. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment if you enjoy this video. If you've ever heard of Anheuser-Busch or Budweiser, you might be familiar with the name August Bush Sr. He was an American brewing magnate who served as the president and CEO of Anheuser-Busch from 1913 to 1934. During his early years at Anheuser-Busch, he found himself wanting a nice place to grab a beer on his way home from work. Being the type of person to bring his dreams to reality, he did just that. In 1916, he built the Bevo Mill to give himself a nice pit stop midway between his office and his house. The name of the building came from the Bohemian word Pivo, which translates to beer. And during Prohibition, Anheuser-Busch manufactured a non-alcoholic beer, which they named Bevo, a slightly different spelling of the Bohemian word. In 2009, upon selling the company to InBev, Anheuser-Busch donated the mill to the city of St. Louis to be used as a public restaurant. It only stayed open for a few months before closing. Since then, it has been reopened to the public as a beer garden and now goes by the name Das Bevo. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd also like to say thank you to our members whose names you can see on the screen right now. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on This House.